All right, in this video, let's understand the nested serializers. Imagine you have a blog application with the models blog and comments. One blog can have multiple comments, right? For that, we usually create a foreign key relationship between comment and the blog model. Let's say if you want to fetch a blog with all its comments, that's where the nested serializers comes in. It will give you the data with the related objects. If you look at this blog example, I'm fetching the blocks with all its comments. Okay, so if you look at this structure, this is the blog ID. All right, and after that, we have this comments, right? So comment is in a list, right? So it's kind of an array. So we have a comment array, and inside that array, we have multiple comments. This blog one has got. Similarly, we have blog two. You know, blog two has got two comments. Okay, so this ID three and a comment for block two, and another one is bad comment. And here we have three comments for this blog, right? So if you want to see it very clearly, you can simply copy this, copy this, and go to any online JSON Weaver to JSON Weaver. Okay, so you can go to JSON Weaver dot stack dot who. Otherwise, you can also install Chrome extensions. Click on this text and paste the JSON here. Okay, Control V, and once you paste it, you can click on Weaver. All right. So here you can see we have two data, right? On the index zero, we have one. Index one, another one, right? You can expand it, and ID one, it has got two comments, right? The block title is this block body, and after that, I'm sorry not two comments it has three comments right and similarly we have another blog with the two comments right so if you want to see what is the comment you can click on here right like this all right so that's how the nested serializers work in the next video we will implement it practically and see how exactly this nested serializers work